if you want to change your results, you got to change your thinking, <laughs> right? How many times have we heard that, right? you got to change how you think. But you know, here's the reality. There is a significant quantifiable difference, a distinct and dramatic difference between the way that really, really successful people think and the way that maybe not so successful people think. It's huge. It's a huge disparity. And you wonder to yourself, if it was just that easy, that all you had to do was change your thinking, then why wouldn't everybody just learn to think like successful people and become massively successful? It's a great question. Why wouldn't they? Here's the answer. Because it requires change. And because it requires work. You see, some folks think they can just run out and buy one book or listen to one audio and fix their mindset and everything's going to come to life and, 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 their, and everything's going to come to fruition and like magic, it's all just going to develop in their lives. Guys, look, the reality is that you've been thinking the way you've been thinking for a really, really long time. And it's it, these are ingrained habit patterns that you have of thinking. And just like habits of eating or smoking or exercising or not exercising or habits of how you speak and how you talk and how you walk and talking with your hands like I do, right? All of the habits that we have as human beings, thinking is also a habit. The way that you think, the way that you process information. Changing habits takes time. It takes work and it's not easy. And so the reason why people don't change their thinking is two reasons. Number one is they're not 100% sure that it's true. They're not 100% sure that if they do change their thinking, it will change their results and it will get them better results in their life. So if they're not 100% sure that it's actually going to work, why go through the effort, right? That's kind of that's that's one of the just, justifications for not doing it. Here's the second one. Is that it's just too doggone hard. It just takes too long. But I want you to know that if you can shift your thinking from the mentality of lack, from the mentality of a fixed availability of resources, from the mentality of of a, 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 a save and protect and defend mentality to an abundant growth, acceptable risk kind of mentality. You can change your thinking. You can change everything about your results. So the question is, Brian, how do you change your thinking? And the answer is you've got to put new stuff in consistently and constantly. Listen, you got to read books. You've got to get educated. And people say, Brian, I don't have time for that. Guess what? You'll never have time for it. Because do you understand that your way of thinking has gotten you exactly what you've got now? And if you want to have something different or more or better or more abundant than what you have now, it's going to require a change in your thinking. You know, Albert Einstein said that you can't think your way out of a circumstance using the same thinking that got you there. And that makes perfect sense. It requires a change in perspective, the way that you view things. And there's only one way to do that, and that's to get in and read. Get a hold of some good books on success mindset. You know, T. Harv Eker wrote a book called The Millionaire Mind. Great book. Get it. Read it. 11 billion times. Repetition is the mother of learning. Get the good stuff in and keep putting it in every single day. My car doesn't play anything but audiobooks. And they're audiobooks from people like Brian Tracy and John Maxwell and T. Harv Eker and Darren Hardy and people like this. And people say, well, that's crazy. Why, you know, why would you? What? Because I want more. That's why. You know, and you can do exactly the same thing if you can change your thinking, if you can expand your thinking, expand your vision. You do that by constantly and consistently consuming ideas from people who think the way that you would like to think, from people that already think in the manner that has made them successful and in a manner that can make you successful as well. But again, the reason why most people won't do it is because it requires change and change is difficult. Change is uncomfortable and nobody really likes it. But what's interesting about successful people is successful people feel the discomfort, they feel the fear, they feel the, the, the anxiety, they feel all the same things that you feel about change, but they do it anyway. Strange, isn't it? Successful people do regularly 
daily what, uns what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. And that's really, at the end of the day, the bottom line. And that is true about consuming good ideas, consuming books. Consuming Look, I don't know any ignorant successful people. None. I don't know any really wealthy successful people that are unread that have no knowledge of money or no knowledge of success or no knowledge of business. And how did they get that knowledge? The answer is they sought it out and consumed it. You and I, we must be the same. We must seek it out and consume it so we can change our thinking. We can begin to get better results. We can begin to change our lives, take them in the direction that we want to go. Guys, make this a week dedicated to doing that. Do yourself a favor. Take the 40 or $50 that you might have spent on going out to eat or doing something else this weekend and go down to the Barnes & Noble or just get on iTunes or just get on Amazon and get yourself at least one soft copy personal development book from either Brian Tracy, John Maxwell, T. Harvecker, Darren Hardy, Jim Rohn, um, Tony Robbins. It doesn't really matter. Get yourself one and then get yourself one audiobook and download it up to your, you know, download it to your iPod or to your car or whatever. Get one audiobook from one of those same authors and spend the next week or two reading that book and listening to that audio. And guess what? If you finish the book, read it again. If you finish the audio, listen to it again. And just watch how your perspective changes. Because just like we might have opinions on things like eating or things like um, you know what's good for you or what's bad for you or exercise, but we read a good book on exercise and we go, oh my gosh, you know, I never thought of that. I'm going to start doing that instead and it makes a huge difference in our exercise routine or in our diet or something like that. The same is true about a success mindset. You might read a book and go, you know, I know most of this stuff, but oh, I've never heard that idea before and that one idea can take your life in an entirely new direction. Because if you understand that new opportunities, new results, new abundance in your life is going to require new thinking, and there's only one way to get it, and that's to get educated. So go get your books. Let's get to work. Let's get to study and carve out the time. You can TiVo Survivor and watch it at midnight if you have to, but carve out the time. Let's get it into the mind, start changing the thinking, and take our lives in a whole new direction. Go out there, guys, and make it a great day.